I feel like every time I record a video now, I say I need a haircut, which is true, because I do. Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about crossbody bags. But before I start, if you're new here and you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to click the subscribe button. But if you've been here for a while and you're not new, then welcome back. And YouTube has changed its settings again so that actually if you go on the notification bell, you can now select all. So you will get all notifications from my channel rather than just what YouTube thinks that you should get from channels. You can do this with any channel, not just mine. But if that is something that you're interested in and you do want to know when all my new videos drop, so you can be the first in the comment section. I'm usually around for comments to reply when the video drops and then check back over the next few days. But when the video kicks off, that is when I'm like, Active. So if you do want the notification, you do want to be here early, then do please click the bell for notifications and click all. Yeah, so I've had a lot of messages recently about crossbody bags and how to style them. I feel like it's something that I wear quite a lot. In all my outfits, I usually have some kind of bag with me. I've spoken about this in videos in the past and it kind of started from a kind of like festival wearing a bum bag simply for like usefulness because it's useful to be able to carry your stuff around. I feel like guys in the past have been too like afraid of wearing crossbody bags or like fanny packs, bum bags, whatever you want to call them because they've been seen in the past as like not acceptable for men to wear a little bag. But obviously it's 2019 and no one cares. And if you want to carry your shit around in something, it might as well be a Louis Vuitton bag. So it's kind of progressed from like bum bags and fanny packs like to handbags now, I guess. And I have no problem with wearing such things. I don't think anyone should have problems with wearing such things. So I sound so posh. Such things. A crossbody bag can be determined by anything that you wear across your body. I guess the term on like websites and stuff, usually for women's handbags, usually refers to like, yeah, like thin little strappy bags that you can wear across your body. But I mean it in a sense that just anything that you wear around your body doesn't really matter. So we're just going to talk about some of my favorite bags and the ways that I style them and hopefully it can help you figure out how you would style them. So here we go. I have a lot of bags. So let's start with the basics. Let's start with your traditional fanny pack, bum bag kind of thing. So here we have your regular black nylon fanny pack bum bag scenario. This one is from a brand called Nid de Gep or NDG. It's a really, really cool brand. I've actually managed to break the zip on it in the middle section, but I still use it all the time because the pocket at the back is massive. You can literally fit so many things in there. This is like your standard generic fanny pack, but still really nice, like minimal plain design. And I use this all the time, probably more than any of my other bags. And this was the least expensive. This is the most affordable. I'll leave a link in the description below for all of the bags mentioned in this video. This is the NDG one. I tend to wear this more like casually. So if I'm going out shopping for the day or if I am going to like a festival or a concert or a gig and I wanna take a few things with me like my house keys, my wallet, my headphones or whatever, I can fit them all in here and it's really easy and really comfortable to wear. And it pretty much goes with everything because it is just black. So this is more for like being practical right so usefulness this is a 10 out of 10. i've kind of given some categories to each crossbody bag in a sense and i would think about color so the color of it and how it matches your outfit the shape how it complements your outfit in terms of what shape it is the texture of the material so like this is nylon it's quite standard and it kind of goes with everything usefulness practicality, whatever you want to call it, and that's how much crap you can fit inside. And then the last one is how much you like it, because obviously that's the most important thing. So this is an all-rounder, like if you get any, it doesn't have to be obviously this exact one, you can get any kind of bum bag. They do loads on ASOS, Bershka, Zara, in this kind of style. And this kind of, yeah, does the job. This can be worn with everything. The next kind of category is your handbag kind of style. So this is the realm of like pricier designer bags, which I'm all for. And obviously these are more like boxy kind of shapes, which I love. Ever since I saw, I think it was Kim Jones's last Louis Vuitton show where he did like a box bag that was like metal and it just looked so nice. I was looking for a box bag at the time and I was like, they're perfect, but they were so expensive. So I was like, I cannot afford one of those. But in recent years, Louis Vuitton Virgil Abloh has released a soft version of the crossbody box bag, which is a lot more it's still expensive, but it's more affordable compared to what that was back then, the metal one. And then you've got brands like MCM as well in this like cognac color, all doing really nice little boxes. But again, so like in terms of color and design, these are more kind of out there and can obviously only be worn with certain looks because of the color, like the all white one, 
the classic monogram one and the cognac color too. But they are nice additions to any outfits. But again, I would really think about the color, the texture, the usefulness, and how much you like it. Oh, and the shape. I think boxes are really, really nice, like little additions to most outfits. Cause it just adds that kind of like shape element because obviously as people, <laughs> we are big <laughs> walking things. Um, so to add like little shapes onto the outfit, I just think it's really aesthetically pleasing. And rather than like some slouchy kind of bag too. I don't really have a lot of slouchy kind of bags, but I know that there are guys out there that love kind of slouchy bags too. I remember that trend of like the market bags that would like, you know what people would take like fruit home in? The net bags. Like I love those, they're really cute, but they would not suit my style and they're not what I like, so I would not wear them. You then go into the realms of like Dior who make specific like the saddle bag. So this I believe was a style of bag that was made. Oh, it's bent there. The saddle bag was introduced by John Galliano when he was at Dior and it's been re-popularized in recent years for women's wear and men's wear. And Kim Jones decided to do the men's version with the Alix buckle too, which is awesome. So obviously this is like stepping into a whole realm of its own. It can be worn in a few different ways. You can wear it like around the front, you can wear it around the back. You can wear it to the front as well. And obviously with all these crossbody bags too, you can wear them in different ways. You can wear them actually across your body. You can wear them on one shoulder. You can strap them around your waist and become waist bags. But the Dior saddlebag is really, really iconic and interesting in its own right. Not super practical as you can't fit too much inside it, but it is still practical in a way. But again, it only goes with a certain type of outfit as well. So you kind of limit yourself in that sense. Then you get into the realm of more like camera bag styles, which I guess this is from AS Clo, uh, a Korean store, and this is from MCM. The MCM one looks more like a wash bag um, with straps attached. And this again, is just like a little camera bag, you could say. But these are also very practical and that you can fit quite a lot inside them and they look good. And I don't know if you saw my Korean clothing haul video, but the reason that I've got this one is because the strap is white and it's nice to have like a contrasting strap. Again, thinking in terms of color for your outfits, because most of my straps were black or the Louis Vuitton one, but I didn't want to take my Louis Vuitton one out everywhere. So I wanted a more affordable beige tonal color to go with my outfit. And then you get more kind of boxy ones from places like Prada. And this one actually has a handle on the top as well. So you could hold it just like this, which I quite enjoy. You could take the strap off and just hold it like a little clutch bag. So moving away from crossbody bags in general and just moving on to little bags, like I think it's great. I think it's really expanding the world of men's fashion. And now people have even started wearing like the Jacquemus wallet on, it's like a neck. I guess it's like a necklace bag. It's like a neck wallet. I'm, I'm gonna put pictures here so you can see because I'm not very good at describing it. Um, I haven't picked one up yet. Obviously they're not very practical. It's kind of like the Jacquemus little bag but it's tiny that obviously has no practicality at all. But it's just fun and looks nice on an outfit. Oh, I do have one kind of pointless bag. I, put, I had to put an extra chain on it to extend it because it wasn't big enough for my big man body. But this is a bag from Kara which is basically a wallet on a giant chain, which is awesome. It gives me like Game of Thrones, Daenerys Targaryen vibes when I wear it. And I wear this like across blazers and stuff to give it more of like an edge. But again, this is a tiny wallet on the end. Like what the hell am I gonna put in here? Probably fit my keys and one card. Definitely not my phone, but the chain though. And then my latest baby from Represent Clothing, which is a little hard case, kind of in the style of like Louis Vuitton in that sense, but this is like a hard version and this, is stunning. Like the craftsmanship that's gone into this is awesome. I love the box. I love the strap with the studs on as well. And the box is just perfect. And the like leather design of the R kind of effect over it as well. It does actually have a little pocket inside to put like a card in or something. But again, the space is limited on this, especially since it's such a sturdy kind of like box design. But with the hinge and stuff, it's just so nice, I love this so much. So I picked this up recently as well, but this is a thinner strap compared to the other ones as well. So this is again stepping into the more, more realms of like handbaggy kind of thing. But I just think it looks sick, so it's what I like. And then to top it off like full circle, I don't know if you saw it again on my Korean clothing haul, but I got a backpack which comes with a crossbody strap. So now instead of like having a tiny, tiny bag, because sometimes I need to take loads of stuff with me, but still want to wear a crossbody style rather than a backpack style. So now I can wear my backpack crossbody style, which for me is perfect. So I hope this has given you some inspiration as to how to wear your crossbody bags and what kind of style that you could find that fits your style for yourself. But yeah, 
that's kind of it <laughs> thank you for watching guys i'll see you in my next one bye